So here's a two-stroke Ryobi Strimmer engine and I'd like to make a two-stroke model aircraft engine out of it. Um, unfortunately I had to steal the ignition coil from this engine for the rotavator. So I'm going to have to get the one from this chainsaw instead. Previously fixed this chainsaw by um, putting this screw there as the original aluminium mount has failed. Well, clearly, this engine is far higher quality than that engine. So, I'm going to abandon the idea of using that one, and I'm going to use this one instead. Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ha. These, uh, that's just a little, what are they called? Come on, you sausage. Out you get. If I break it, I can't make another one. See, this is why you should always wear hearing protection. So it was right down here. A nice hard concrete floor. You're going to hear that one little screw, spring, or a nasty little thing as it hides itself away in the far corners of your workshop. Yeah, something about Corona, it's made of maize, as well as barley and wheat. That sort of, you know, uh, Cheerios, Cheerios. You've got rice, you've got maize, you've got barley, and you've got wheat. O's, especially the proper expensive Cheerios. Ooh. That's the cylinder head. There's our crank and our piston. Then you take the whole thing, just plop it down on your gasket. Like so. That said, I have just gone and, you know, fucked up there. That's no good. But I think it's fine. This one definitely goes on this side, doesn't it? Oh yes, lovely. In you go. Yeah. All together. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a bolt onto a piece of metal. That can go in there.
Okay. I probably can't cut into this too much, otherwise it'll lose its structural integrity. And most of the weight is just in the magnets and the counterweight for the magnet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it flush to give me more space on the front for putting a propeller. Yeah. I'm going to put a plate on the front of there and weld two bolts sticking out from the front and that is what the propeller will mount to. So I'm going to Top of there. Now just have two bolts and that'll hold the propeller on there. And I'm going to clamp this engine to whatever aircraft I end up building for it with threaded rods and I'll bend these so they I can bolt them through against a plywood plate on the end here. And that there is the tripod mounting bracket finished. See the uh, threaded rod running through the front of the engine all around. And I'll be able to mount it onto a piece of wood for testing on those three mounting holes or just regular wood screws. dangerous oh man but it'll run <laughs> I'm getting on some blood Engine, bicycle, engine, bicycle, bicycle, engine, engine, bicycle, engine, bicycle, engine, bicycle, engine, bicycle.